Hello. Would you guys like to talk to me for RAG? It's practically for charity. No, because I talked to Tab TV and I got quoted as saying I never used Rohypnol. I've never used Rohypnol and I've never even thought about using Rohypnol. But everyone says to me, oh, you're the guy who doesn't use Rohypnol. Je suis muy bueno con le Tab TV. If you were stranded on a desert island and you could only have two things with you, what would you have to bring? Two things? Two things. Porn, uh, Fanny. Uh, That's two, you only get two. You, you yeah. don't get anything else. Um, um, I'd have my mum. What is your number one survival tip? Um, always be prepared. For what? Anything that might happen. Like two things in total. A condom and a knife, so then I can cut the condom, and then I get them pregnant, and then I get benefits. Who would you get pregnant? You. I'm not on the I'm desert island. Remember. You are. Remember. He's on the desert island. I get him pregnant. Get a fucking bear. Slash the fucking bear. Sleep in the fucking bear. Do you fancy yourself as a bit of a bear, girls? No, I'm uh, bisexual. Wait, no, 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 no. I love alcohol. Drinking, drinking alcohol. alcohol, drinking alcohol. If you got lost with anyone in the world, who would it be? Right, okay, Cameron Diaz from the era of The Mask. You saw her there, she was gorgeous, she was fantastic, watch the film again. Um, a toothbrush. Uh... Where is the most terrifying place you have ever been lost? I have a present for you. Do you want to see my present? No. No, 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 you want to see my present? No, I really don't. No, 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 keep it on, keep it on. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> That's my umbrella! The scariest place I've ever been lost is probably my parents' uh, bathroom. <laughs> Shit happens there you don't want to hear about. Excuse me, gentlemen, are you lost? We're trying to get into here, but the, the door is closed. Wait, Paul, submit, Paul. No. Are you lost? Hi. Outside of a toothbrush, what would you bring on a desert island? Uh, outside of a toothbrush, toothpaste. Toothpaste. Those two things mainly, those two things. Toothbrush and toothpaste. What are you going for with this tie? Are you trying to look a bit like Rambo or something? No, I, I made the umbrella. They go hand in hand really, don't they? Yeah, so. It's worrying how long it took them to think of that. Okay. You and Bear Grylls in a fight, who wins? Me and who were in a fight? Bear Grylls. I think Bear Grylls is very contrived. Girls in a fight, who would win? Sorry? You and Bear Grylls in a fight, who would win? I really can't understand your accent, can you say it again? You and Bear Grylls in a fight, who would win? Me and bad girls in a fight. You and me in a fight now, who would win? Obviously me, because I've got all the rugby boys behind me. So, rugby boys versus bear girls. Rugby boys would fuck bear girls up in it. I personally like Louis Theroux. I think he knows what he's talking about. What was the question? No, no, just don't worry about it. How would you feel about getting dumped in the middle of nowhere and having to find your way home? Um, how would I feel about getting dumped in the middle of nowhere? Um, well, given that John's is basically 30 steps down the road, it wouldn't be too bad. Um, so yeah, a cabbie would basically know where to take me. The first priority is shelter. We have a boy scout. First priority is find a suit from Savile Road to get down. Sometimes my girlfriend says I don't love Cav TV, but you know what I say? Cav TV's the balls. John, if, where is the most terrifying place you have ever been lost? It lost? Um, actually in my own house.